Okay, let's talk about a couple of concepts here, not necessarily in this order. Actually, I'm going to talk about bare cylinder diameter first, and then I'm going to talk about distortion. Okay? So first we'll get this understood, and then I think it'll make sense afterwards why we go in that sequence. All right, these are the elements that we're going to be talking about. You have a, a plate cylinder. You have a, um, some mounting tape. You have a plate. The purpose of the mounting tape is to hold the plate onto the cylinder for printing. So it's a necessary evil. Uh, because it introduces another variable into, uh, variable into the operation. But you need it, the way we do it, we hold the cylinders down. But since so it's always there, we have to be aware of its influence on what we're doing. Okay? Now, here's what happens. That's the plate cylinder, okay? Plate cylinder. Then you have on top of the plate cylinder, let's say that this is mounting tape. Then you have, and I'm going to simplify the drawing without a floor, relief. This is your plate. Plate. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, co construct the same phenomenon on the other side of this cylinder representing when this assembly of parts here, the plate and the tape, have rotated 180 degrees and is now down here. So for, let me have uh, this marker here. Oh no, it's yellow, so we might be able to see it. Okay, so I'll just dot it. Here's the mounting tape when it swings around down here, and here's the plate. when it's swung around, okay? Mm -hmm. So that covers that even a little dot, you know, on a plate or a continuous repeat situation. Continuous, right? So, what we're looking at here is the print diameter. Now, one of the limitations of flexo and we're, for the sake of this discussion, we're only talking about a geared flexible press. There are new presses that use servos with no gears, and there are certain things you can do in that situation uh, that you can't do with this. Because we use gears to drive this plate cylinder, and because teeth have to be in, in integer quantities, you can't have eight and a half teeth. You have one, two, ten, well, maybe twenty, twenty-three, a hundred teeth, whatever. You're going to have incremental possibilities for your circumference. Okay? And therefore, incremental possibilities for your diameter as well. Your diameter can only be in certain increments. Okay? Limited by this, in this case, a one-eighth inch gear pitch. Which means <clears throat> from one, th this is a sweet spot, this is a, on a gear, right, and behind the cylinder the gear would poke out just a little bit above the plate, because it has to mesh a little bit in, it can't mesh on a very tippy tops, right, and so this represents the printing diameter, okay, well from here to a corresponding point here along that arc, is your pitch. And in this case, it equals 1 eighth inch. Okay? So your circumference is going to go up 1 to their time, 1 eighth inch of a time in circumference. And I wrote an article on that that you can see on the web. It's called uh, one of, uh, Calculating the, uh, Distortion Without, uh, without a ch Chart, something like, literally, something like that. And another thing related to this would be um, CP versus DP, what's the difference? That's a good discussion, I think, on the differences between DP and CP, which we're not going to talk about. Yes, on your website? Yes. Okay. So, also, this print diameter must be correct. Okay? So, you have to know 
Now we're talking about bare cylinder diameter. Your plate thickness in this case is 0 0.067 thousandths, right? Your mounting tape thickness in your case is 0 0.015 thousandths. For the sake of this discussion, we're not going to go into the fact that it happens to caliper at or mic at 1 point, 0 0.1. 0.0175. That has to do with an industry, a tape manufacturing misconception uh, to, that says we should introduce an over impression condition so that when the plate cylinder is at the sweet spot at the pitch, you automatically have built in an over impression condition. But that phenomenon is from old days when you had poorly made plates, poor substrate, and all this, and you needed that over impression. These days, because our, our plate cylinders are precise, because our machines are more robust and more precise, and because, uh, uh, because the substrate actually builds up a little bit and meat comes up to the plate, you don't have to build in an over-impression situation. So for the sake of this discussion, it's 0.015, but that's why, why when we measured it yesterday, it built, it had that additional amount. So it's something that you need to, it's unfortunate. But, so, these two things influence the diameter twice. Down here you have the plate 0 0.067 and you have the tape 0 0.015 here too in terms of how it relates to the diameter. And then finally we have what we're getting ready to talk about is the diameter of the bare cylinder. B, C, D. Right? Therefore, no, it's not. What it is, the bare, no, that's the bare cylinder. We're talking about the diameter of this bare of the bare part of the cylinder. So, bare cylinder diameter is the diameter of the bare cylinder. Okay, because we have this diameter, then we have the tape's influence on the diameter, then we have the plate's influence on the diameter, building it all up to what should be the print diameter. Okay, so now we're here where we start to get our formulas. <laughs> There's a couple of ways to look at this. We're going to do it the second time we do it. We'll, we'll, we'll solve for the bare cylinder diameter. This time we'll solve for print diameter. Print diameter equals B C D plus two times plate thickness plus two times tape thickness. That's your bare cylinder diameter. Uh, print diameter. So your print diameter equals the bare cylinder thickness, twice the plate thickness, and twice the tape thickness. That's your print diameter. Conversely, now you're saying, okay, well, my tape is fixed. I use 15. Now your tape doesn't have to be fixed. Maybe your bare cylinder diameter corresponds to your uh, needing to use a different um, tape. But well, let's assume that, our, 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 you, that, you, that this manufacturer manufactured these cylinders for 15,000 mounting tape. Right? Then you would say, okay, the question then becomes, since I'm using 6,000, 67,000 plate and 15,000 tape, what should my bare cylinder diameter be if I'm going to specify uh, new cylinders? Or if I'm going to mic one to see if it's the appropriate one for that tooth configuration? What you do is you say, bare cylinder diameter equals print diameter. Minus twice the plate thickness. Well, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me neaten this up a little bit. Now that you've seen that, right? So now I'm going to say the bare cylinder diameter equals the print diameter minus twice the plate thickness plus twice the tape thickness. Now, actually, I should put this on minus, minus, okay, that's good. There's no multiplication in there, so it doesn't have to be in brackets. Good. So the bare cylinder diameter equals the print diameter, taking away twice the plate thickness and also taking away twice the tape thickness, minus, minus twice the tape thickness. That's plus, right? Okay, good. And you'll, you'll have this on video, so you get it. 